Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a knurling or how to make a knurling on a part in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. <coughs> now go to 2D sketch and we will select the XY plane. Now from here, go to circle command, from center point make a circle of dia 40 and another circle from same center point of dia 50, ok. Now finish sketch, now go to extrude command and select this inner profile and give it a dimension of 40 okay give it 37 okay now <clears throat> for knurling select this face the top face and go to create sketch now from here take the line command and from center point make one line straight line and from same center point make another line ok now go to dimensions give the angle between these lines as 4 degree ok now escape now select this line select the both lines and go to construction geometry we will make it a reference geometry now finish sketch <clears throat> now rotate the view make it a home ok ok rotate it like this select this edge ok now on straight line we will construct a plane so go to plane select this point and select the line 1 ok now finish sketch go to plane and go to create sketch now from rectangle command come down and select the polygon the sides of polygon will be 4 and will select a polygon in diamond form ok now escape now go to dimensions center point of polygon from top will be at 5 mm ok escape now you can see it is getting deformed so go to vertical constraint select the center point and select this point of polygon now it's straight <coughs> now the dimension for polygon go to dimensions select the horizontal edges and give it a dimension as 3.25 ok now escape now it is still moving so go to vertical constraint and now we will constrain its center point select the center point of polygon and select the center point of the geometry now this is fully constrained here you can see the fully constrained sketch. Now, to make a pattern of this, go to rectangular pattern, select this profile or for reference, go to line command. From this center point, make a line till its center point. Okay, escape, select this line and make it a construction geometry now go to rectangle command and select the polygon profile ok now go to direction 1 and select this line as direction 1 now here we will make a count of 9 
and the distance between each polygon will be of 3.5 okay here you can see a minor gap will be there and okay <coughs> now <coughs> escape or finish this sketch now we will extrude this profile so go to extrude select this profile select the profile all profiles okay now it's getting extrude outwards but we want to make a two directional extrude here so from here okay from here you will select the asymmetric extrude it will ask you the dimension of second side so the first side will be of okay make it 10 and make it 1 okay now we want to give a taper profile as you can see here it is coming till here so we want to give a taper profile from here go to more for taper profile give a taper of minus 45 and here plus 45 now you can see the profile <coughs> the profile of this will change to like a polygon and here it will expand the inner profile will expand outwards the plus 45 degree and okay it will look like this the diamond profile of the nerve okay go to home or switch to this view make it revolve here select this edge okay now as this profile is made now we want to make a profile at 4 degree so go to plane select this point of 4 degree line and select the 4 degree line okay you can hide the first to not get confused right click okay and go to visibility so we are with the plane 2 here you can see the plane 2 will be shown here written now go select this plane and go to create sketch okay now for this go to line command and make a line from center point okay escape and make a polygon make a polygon on this line and go to dimensions this line the polygon center from this polygon center will be of 1.75 okay and the horizontal dimension of polygon will be 3.25 the same dimensions of previous one now this is fully constrained select this line and make it a construction geometry ok escape now go to rectangular uh, pattern select this polygon ok and go to direction select this line for direction similarly we will take a pattern of 9 and the distance between will be of 3.5 okay so the pattern will look like this go to ok now finish sketch now go to extrude command select this view and select the complete profiles the pattern profile okay now same dimensions will be given here also the asymmetric extrude of dimension 10 and the second dimension as 1 
go to more here give a taper of minus 45 and here a taper of 45 okay similar things you will see here and okay now this is the final pattern now we want this profile to be a circular pattern on whole profile so go to circular pattern select the extrude and select this extrude now go to rotation axis and select this face the count here will be of 45 and the angle of rotation will be 60 degree and ok now it's building ok you can hide this plane from here right click and turn off the visibility and this sketch also turn off from here ok now this will look like this here we want to give a chamfer select this edge and go to chamfer after pattern system sometimes take time give a chamfer of 1 here also chamfer of 1 and ok ok so this will be the final profile rotate it you can here give a pattern or a color I will give it a chrome polished ok so this was a basic tutorial to how to build a knurling in Autodesk Inventor software I hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you